Welcome back. Welcome back. Let's jump right into it. So who remembers this guy right here? This guy right here, a couple years ago, his church got robbed, right? He goes by, for those who don't remember, he goes by Bishop um, Lamar Whitehead, something like that. Bishop Whitehead, right? Um, so his church got robbed um, is when he like really started being seen in the public eye. Excuse my voice, I'm a little under, under the weather. He started getting seen in the public eye. Right? Um, his church got robbed. Started getting seen in the public eye. Uh, different things started coming out about him about fraud and taking money from individuals, stealing from people. All right? I made a story on here about him probably a year or two ago. Now, here's the interesting thing about this person right here. Because he just got sentenced nine years for those who were on the other side of the fence about this individual. And it wasn't for doing God's work. It was for doing Satan's work. But here's, here's what's interesting. Because I, I did a story on him about a year and a half ago, probably two years ago. I went to go speak in New York not too long ago, um, a couple months ago. And there was a guy staring at me, right? Like across, across from me. Like I'm sitting right here by the stage. This person's right here in the seats. Staring at me, and I'm just like, what? What is going on? It dawns on me, hallelujah. <laughs> like the Lord allows me to know, it comes to my memory, it's him. So I'm like, oh, that's oh blah 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 blah. Right? And um I made a video of him speaking about the, the fraud, the nonsense that he's on. How he's not actually a bishop, you know, and I'm guessing he's seen that video because he was just staring, right? So to me, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna I'm talk to him, you know, because um, I'm I'm getting I'm preparing myself to speak, right? Because I was gonna speak and um, while well, I spoke in New York, so I wasn't gonna talk to him right then. I was gonna talk to him after, you know, um, and. Prayerfully, you know, get some sense into his head and, you know, have him repent to the Lord. Get into that, get into that space, you know what I mean? When I, when I say I'm a talk, it's not, no, hey, um, I'm sorry for, you know, if I disrespect, none of that. None of that. I mean, like, I'm going to talk to him, like, why do you, you call yourself this, how is this connecting? You know? Um, I'm about my father's business at the end of the day, whether that's confrontational, controversial, whatever it is. I'm not going to come into anything aggressive, but I'm going to ask with the love of God in the way the Lord leads me to do it, not in the way man sees fit. However, that was him, and it was interesting. You know, never got a chance to talk though. Um, he ended up leaving. But crazy to hear this story about him getting getting nine years. I believe they just sentenced him like two days ago. Anyways, for those who don't really remember, you know, he had uh, different things just going on, man. I'm, I'm going to play a video clip of him talking about D.L. Hughley and about fighting D.L. Hughley in the name of Jesus. Just just for those who just are thinking to themselves like on the other side of the fence, like on, on the side of a man who's called himself a bishop whose character and function is nothing like the bishop of the Lord, like a bishop of the Lord. Check this out. Yo, Hughley, right? Because I call him Napoleon, but I guess he's short, right? And he has a Napoleon complex. All he did was just come at me, come at me. So he's clowning D.O. Hughley because he's short. He has a Napoleon complex. Just to point that out, I don't see no fruit in that kind of character coming from a bishop at me with disrespectful tone right so like i told you on your syndicated radio station we don't gotta talk right you feel the way you feel about me i don't feel no way about you but listen what i want to do you know meet me in the ring because y'all think y'all can walk over past this let's set up a celebrity match bishop whitehead and dl hughley because you run your mouth behind the mic y'all think that these preachers are punks behind the pulpit when somebody try to make sense out of nonsense and you sit there and support the men that robbed me listen dl hughley let's meet in the room he's talking about because dl hughley didn't 
believed that it was real. He thought the, the robbery was a setup. For those who never seen a robbery, um, this person, you could easily search it out. But yeah, a lot of people thought it was a setup for, for to get money. Right? In the name of Jesus. And I hope you get this message because I'm about to post it. Let's meet in the ring whenever you want. Matter of fact, let's make it happen because you tough behind the mic. And I'm tough behind the pulpit. We got two tough guys that need to be in the ring, right? We're not going to fight. We're going to love each other. After I knock you out, right? In the ring, right? After I knock you out, in the name of Jesus, right? After I knock you out, in the name of Jesus. That's crazy. That's wild. I mean, what more do you have to see? I'm surprised people are even in his congregation. It's not much. But I'm surprised. After I knock you out in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I'm, I'm knock you out. But in the name of Jesus, huh? After I take your head off in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, you think by saying in the name of Jesus it makes it better? Heretic. The hypocrisy is 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 absolutely insane. Now here's a video I've seen of him that just when I first came across this person, that made me like, whoa, sick in my stomach, right? Him singing Jay Z. Get a hold. Rumors Lucifer, I don't know who to trust. Whole world want my demise. Turn the music Listen up. Listen to him. Hear me clearly. Listen to him. Listen to Jay Z. Listen. Anybody telling you to listen to Jay Z, either they don't know. The spiritual depth when it comes to Jay-Z and his, sat and his satanic ways? Or they just choose to ignore it? One of the two. One of the two. Jay-Z is the same person who said in the song State of Empire with Leisha Keys, Jesus can't save you. Life starts when the church ends. Are you hearing what I'm saying to you? For those who don't really know this. Is he the same person who said that? He said Jesus can't save you. So if Jesus can't save you, and he also said on his song Family Feud, I told my wife the spiritual stuff really works. What spiritual stuff is he talking about if he's not talking about in Christ? Demonic. He's a Freemason, a satanic individual. Trust me. Now, Mr. Whitehead also got on headlines for another situation when he grabbed a woman by her hair and her neck to take her out of his service, right? Now, we, are, we also have that lady talking about the situation. I'm going to show you guys that, too. But let's show you the clip of what happened with this lady at his service. Applause. Why they take pictures and they want to be on social media. Take the pictures. 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 Go over here. Go over here. Grab her. Grab her out. Grab her out. Now you're going to grab, grab her out. Grab her out. Grab her out. Grab her out. Get downstairs. Grab her. 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 Now, for a, for a good while, people were seeing that video, but didn't know who the lady was, didn't hear from the lady at all. But we actually have a video of that lady actually speaking on what transpired. So let's just check out what the lady had to say. Spun around that matches a narrative for his benefit. I am a mother. I would not do that. This man who's supposed to be a bishop in the Lord's church, called me up and ushered me up to the front. And once I got up there, I began to speak in my heavenly language. And next thing I know, I was being grabbed behind my hair and drug out in the videos that everyone is seeing online. I have a, a long scratch on my neck. There's another narrative going around that um, I purposely went there to start some type of trouble. I'm not on that type of time. And let me just say something else. All of these men that are in my DM um, co-signing 
this behavior, it makes me wonder your respect and level for women. I never in my life had a man put his hands on me until Sunday. Wow. So that's the lady speaking up about the situation that happened. She was a journalist and she was writing a story on, beginning to write one on him, I guess. And she was watching the service online and she said she wants to come in on, in person, right, to experience the service. When she got there, that's what transpired, exactly what she just said. She said she was speaking in her heavy language. I'm guessing she's talking about she was speaking in tongues. So her in the front, I, I'm guessing she wasn't saying it, anything in actual English, and he was manifesting. That's the best way I can explain it. Man was manifesting. She started dragging her, scratched her throat. Pretty, pretty intense. But anyways, you get a little further down the line, and things start hitting the fence. And little do we know, he's found guilty about two months ago, I think something like that. And now we see that he's sentenced. NYC is pastor is sentenced to nine years for fraud, including taking a single mom's ninety thousand. So a lot of different people who were saving up, he promised them things and told them that he can do things for them. They just give him the money. They gave him the money, and that was it. Fraud, 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 fraud. Excuse me, my English bulldog is just chubby. Why are you breathing so hard, buddy? Come on now. Lamar Whitehead, pastor of Brooklyn Church, has been sentenced to nine years in prison after a federal jury found him guilty of multiple counts of fraud. Multiple. Multiple. He's seen here in two... How sick do you got to be? How demonically possessed do you got to be to call yourself a bishop and steal money from, congregate, from your congregation? People who are putting trust in you as their leader, as supposed to be a man of God, how sick do you got to be to steal? Put yourself in position to steal. Put yourself in position to be a scam artist while calling yourself a bishop of the Lord. How sick and demonic. How demon possessed do you have to be? He's seen here in 2022 attending the billionaires row and dinger squad VIPs event in Huntington, and why? This is a man who just wants money. This is a man who wanted fame. That's why you could be online talking about let's make a let's do a celebrity boxing match. Me and you, Dio Hubley. Let's do a celebrity boxing match. We'll be good. It's gonna be it's gonna be out of love. It's gonna be out of love. After I knock you out in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, after I knock you out. Sick. Sick. May his time being served in jail bring him to his knees and repentance from God. May, may he begin his journey on making things right in the sight of the Lord, in the sight of all those who he, he's done wrong. May he begin his journey. I pray he comes into true repentance, not for people, for his own soul. Because what, he's di what he has done is sick, is demonic, it's evil in many ways to steal from people. Elderly women use their money for your own personal gain. It's crazy. Money, you, you realize it takes people a very long time to save money like that? Most of their life, they've been saving this money. And when they decide to give it to somebody like this, man, they give it out of faith. Out of having faith in the Lord and thinking that this is somebody, you know. I don't know how you can follow somebody like this in the first place, but some people don't have internet like that. Some people don't see things like that. Some people just, this is all they see is only him. And they truly believe it. The buffoonery. I mean, it's scary, but it's real out here. People are really getting scammed out here from people who call themselves men of God.
pastors, preachers, prophets, bishops. You know how you know when you're in the presence of somebody who is truly with the Lord or truly a bishop, truly an apostle, by what they teach you, by the revelation that they're giving you. Are they, copy, are they copying messages from pastors within that century or a couple, years, a couple hundred years prior? Are they teaching you exactly how Yeshua taught the apostles, exactly how the apostles taught their disciples who became apostles, who became bishops, the early church fathers? Are they teaching you the doctrine that was being taught way back then? Is their revelation stemming off of that, stemming off of theirs? Or are they teaching you different things from different denominations? Step into truth, my brothers and sisters. It's what, shall, it's what shall free you, the truth. The truth shall set you free. The truth is Yeshua. Yeshua is the way, the truth, and the life. Hallelujah. Let me know what you guys think about this video. Um, we pray for repentance. Hallelujah. I love you guys. God bless. Shalom.